Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video today. Going over my draft class for 2019. I have finally pretty much completed it. If you guys want to download it, it's very easy. When you go to import the draft class... You will download it from the Madden Share. Now, I'm not sure if I'll be able to because it's my class and I've uploaded it. So I'm not sure if it'll be listed in the community files for me. But it's very easy. All you need to do is hit Triangle on the PS4 to search. Uh, and it might even be in your top downloaded things. But probably not right now because not a ton of people have it downloaded. Um, but you can search by keyword, which is Bengal 2019 Draft, I believe. Or... You can sort by online ID, so you can go ahead and search for my name here, which is Bengal Designs, no spaces, which is the same as my Twitter. You can go ahead and follow me in the uh, description if you're not already. I assume anyone who would have followed me is already who's watching this video, but it is Bengal 2019 draft. It has um, about 2,500 downloads right now. I've been working on it, so a lot of you guys who have seen the rebuild have been downloading it, so thank you for doing that, uh, and I assume... That I'm going to have 80k plus at some point, so I've just added that there. Uh, you know, wishful thinking perhaps. But I started with the Operation Sports uh, draft class, and it was terrible. It was like an abomination. One of the worst things I've ever seen. As you can see, I say work in progress. Editing OSFX, which is Operation Sports franchise experience. Absolute abomination of a class. It was terrible. So you're like, why would you use that then? So I have the actual names of the players so I can save some time. Because this took a really long time to edit all the ratings to where I feel like they should be based on my knowledge of the players uh, in college. And I do watch a lot of tape. I have in the past, especially, you can go ahead and look at my channel. I've done top five draft steals and bust videos, and I've done prospect breakdowns. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking for the prospect breakdowns this year, but my channel almost got taken down last year because of um, like the ACC and the SEC like claiming my videos and almost striking me down. So I received uh, a copyright strike on my channel, which almost took my channel down because I had two. And if you get a third, they take down your channel. So I don't really want to go through that this year. I really don't. But I've been tweeting a lot about my thoughts on a lot of players. You just asked me about a player if I watched their tape so far. And you can find a lot of tape on YouTube uh, and other places. So it's not impossible to find. It used to be way easier on draftbreakdown.com, but it, that is no longer a functional site. But this is my draft class. Enough dilly-dallying. You can go ahead and download it. For me, I already have it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and save it as a new file. Actually, no, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to overwrite it. This might be a new file for me because I've been going back and forth. I'm not sure what it has. I, I, it wouldn't make sense as a new file. This is definitely what I've actually uploaded. Um, so big shout-out to JT Vaughn. He's a subscriber to the channel, James Vaughn. Uh, JT Vaughn on Twitter. Um, he edited a lot of this class for appearance. So every one of these players is going to look pretty much as they do in real life to an extent, you know, with what um, the class in Madden actually offers. So Colin Johnson's going to look a bit like Colin Johnson. Hollywood Brown's going to look a lot like Hollywood Brown. Nikhil Harry is going to look like Nikhil Harry. And if a player has dreadlocks, they're mainly going to have dreadlocks in this in almost every circumstance like Lil Jordan Humphrey has dreadlocks and he's gonna look like he actually looks on the field on Saturdays and now eventually on Sundays um, this is not an exact rankings list I've moved up to Wayne Haskins to do a lot of uh, requests and you know what he's generating a lot of buzz so I boosted him a little bit I still see him as like a, a third or fourth round player I boosted him a little bit he's had incredible incredible performances in the last few weeks so that's caused me to boost his stock a little bit especially in the big 10 championship i just think he's a little bit raw right now i think he'd be best set to go back to ohio state and really generate hype as a first or second round prospect but a lot of play a lot of people wanted to see him higher so i'm like all right we'll move him up a little bit i still don't i'm not going to put him in the first round i'm not going to put him above some of the other, these other guys even though i don't really like drew lock that much uh, that's kind of a conversation for another time if we go to edit players um, you guys, I guess, could change whatever you want about this class. Although, I, I really think it's in a good spot. It's fair to a lot of the players. Uh, and we'll click on we'll click on uh, Ed Oliver here. And we'll go ahead. We'll check him out. You guys can see he's exactly as Ed Oliver would look uh, in real life on the field. 
in terms of like, you know, there he's got the arm tape a little bit. He's got the gloves. Uh, I'm not sure if he's changed the helmet around too much. I'm not sure if Ed Oliver wears that, uh, that Rydell, um, what is it called? The Speed Flex, like a lot of the players are wearing nowadays. Also, obviously, if you watch college football and you know Ed Oliver, um, Ed Oliver doesn't wear number 90. He wears number 10. But um, James went ahead and changed a lot of the players to actual NFL numbers. So with the defensive line group, you're going to see numbers in rarely the 60s and 70s, but it does happen, mainly the 90s. So he plays defensive tackle. He's going to have a number in the 90s. And again, rarely you're going to see him in the 60s or 70s, but that does happen with running backs. It's 20s, 30s, 40s. Usually you'll see... Uh, fullbacks get those numbers in the 30s and 40s, but running backs have them in the 20s and 30s really often, and occasionally in the 40s, like Naheem Hines with the Colts, I believe, wears uh, a number in the 40s, 43 maybe. And um, guys like Justin Herbert, quarterbacks, are going to be in that, that 1 to 19 range. Tackles are in with the 50s, 60s, 70s. Wide receivers in the 10s and the 80s. Um very very rarely you'll see them in numbers with the single digits but that again almost never happens so i don't think it's in that with the class the cornerbacks or defensive backs i should say 20s 30s 40s linebackers 90s and 50s again rarely you'll see them in the 40s but it doesn't happen that much as you can see devin white here out of lsu wears number 40 in real life he also wears number 40 in the game because linebackers do occasionally wear numbers in the 40s although it is a little bit more rare uh, than it had been in the past. Uh, what position group didn't I cover? Kickers and punters matter, I guess, if you like that, and they wear numbers uh, generally in the single digits and teens, although it does vary. Uh, I think we pretty much touched on anything. Tight ends, they wear numbers generally in the 80s, but you can see some variation there. But yeah, this is the class. I do have some highly rated players in here because the highest rated player I've ever seen in Madden 19 franchise is an 85 or 86 overall. I didn't want to exceed that, so I took the two uh, or the few best players in this class. I kept them in that 83, 84 range. Depending on physical attributes, some players are rated a bit higher, but I generally kept it so the top players in this class, in my opinion, are rated, I think, fairly. Uh, and there are a lot of 80 pluses. As you can see, there are what appear to be, I don't know, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There are fifteen-ish, eighty overall and above. There are a few 79, 78, 77. I think I've rated them fairly. It's a deep draft class. I've tried to assess them in a fair and realistic manner. At quarterback, uh, and I won't show the developments. I guess if you don't want to spoil it for you, um, but you guys. And I, I guess I'm not going to spoil all the overalls. You guys have gotten a pretty big taste. But um, I'll just show you the positions. Because I don't I don't think everyone wants to know what overall all these guys are. But we have Justin Herbert, Will Greer. You can go ahead and take a look at all these guys. I even have guys like Easton Stick, who I am really fond of, out of uh, North Dakota State. Go Bison, like Carson Wentz, former guy there. Clayton Thorson's in here. All the way down to Tyree Jackson out of Buffalo. And a lot of these guys will end up going back to school. I'm not sure if I'm going to take him out just yet. Jared Stidham just declared. Jake Browning, DeAndre Francois, Kelly Bryant's in here, even though he's going back. To, uh, he's transferring out to Mizzou. Trace McSorley's in here. Tanner Mangum out of BYU. Halfback. It's a little bit difficult to rank the halfbacks, in my opinion. I don't think there's one true frontrunner star, but we have Damian Harris, Bryce Love, all the way down to David Montgomery, who I think is a very, very good player. Mike Weber out of Ohio State. We have Divino Zigbo, Karan Higdon is somewhere in here i have no idea where he is but he's in here somewhere there he is uh you know a bunch of really good players um and i've tried to again rate them fairly aj brown's in here Nikhil harry paris campbell all the way down to little jordan humphrey juan jennings demarcus lodge hunter renfro is finally gonna not be a clemson he's been a clemson for like i don't know 30 years gary jennings jr's in here uh there are some undrafted players as well at every position, Noah Fant, Albert Okwebenam, Irv Smith Jr., who likely will return. Um, but again, it's a pretty deep class. There are a lot of players in here. And I know the first thing that's going to be said from a lot of people is, well, where's this guy? Where's that guy? 
I like this player. I watched him at San Diego State University. I think he should be in your class. Well, it's so difficult to add every single player in the class due to time restraint, but I've tried to add, or I've tried to add, yeah, as many players as possible. I've tried to really get a good variation of guys in here. And again, it's all been about rating the players fairly and accurately. We have Montez Sweat to Charles Amenahu, a defensive tackle. This is an insanely deep defensive tackle class, so I have a lot of guys ranked very highly. Ed Oliver, Quinn Williams, Draymond Jones, Raekwon Davis, Jerry Tillery, Christian Wilkins. Guys like Dexter Lawrence are really, really good players. Daniel Wise out of Kansas had a great season, and he wore like number like 80 or something weird. That's been changed. Um, a lot of 3-4 defensive ends in here as well. Um, at left end, for example, Rashawn Gary is that guy that's basically a defensive tackle. He's an interior defensive lineman. At left outside linebacker, we have guys like Ja'Kai Polite, who's really uh, receiving a lot of buzz lately. Tavon Coney, Anthony Jennings, Voshan Joseph out of Florida. Of course, at inside linebacker with Devin White, Mac Wilson, Trey Lamar, down to Cameron Smith, all the way through to Khalil Hodge. And this will be receiving updates over the course of the year. Josh Allen out of Kentucky has been incredible. Um, ben Burkerbin had a lot of people who wanted him added in. And he got added in. At cornerback, it's a really deep group as well, in my opinion. All these top four guys are going to compete to see who's number one. But from Greedy Williams, Trayvon Diggs, brother of Stefan Diggs. DeAndre Baker, who's fantastic. Byron Murphy. Julian Love got a boost recently. Trayvon Mullen's actually pretty good. Like, it's a really, really deep class. And again, I, I'm really sorry we couldn't add everybody. <laughs> I added in uh, some new guys as well. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson's in here. Um, there were some recent additions in here that weren't in the last class. Jonathan Abram was boosted quite a bit, as was uh, Licky Hudson out of Michigan. JoJo McIntosh, I believe, was added. I think I did that today. So I tried to add as many players in here as I could. Again, can't get to everybody but I did the best that I could. I hope you guys enjoy it. A lot of work went into this for myself and other people. I mean, shout out to Operation Sports even for adding a lot of these players in here to begin with. I just had to add a lot more because in this initial class, there was no Quinnen Williams, who is certainly a top five player in this class. There was no Draymond Jones, who's up there. I don't think there was any Raekwon Davis. Uh, they were missing just so many top players in this class. Jerry Tillery was like a 60 overall, which seems pretty low in general for any player. Um, let alone someone that's probably a first or second round pick. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This took a lot of work, a lot of effort on my part and a lot of other guys as well. So I do hope you enjoyed it. You guys know where to find it. Give it a like, give it a download, check it out. Let me know what you think. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Yeah.